just another method to do instead of blasting. In today's video, we are going to be trying a new, well, it's not new, but it's a new product to me from Lincoln Chemical. This is going to help us avoid having to sandblast some really big parts that we just don't have room for. Let's get into the video. Let's check out the process and then I'll kind of explain my thoughts at the end. What is it? This is a descaler, 2657 like descale. We're gonna put it on the metal. It's gonna etch into the metal, and we're gonna go with a wet on wet process with the 2706, which is gonna clean the metal, and then we're gonna go over it with a phosphate. It's a three stage, wet on wet on wet, and then after the phosphate is on, then we're gonna go with just rinse water off, and the part will be clean and ready for prep. Perfect. All right. So here's the parts we're starting with. Pretty typical, there's a little bit of rust, there's mill scale, there's oil, some of the ink from when they uh, stamp it at the yard. So we're gonna put on this descaler now and saturate the part really good. The cleaner they do normally inject through a pressure washer, but I don't wanna clean out my suction tube that's in our phosphate. So we're just gonna do a pump sprayer, which he says is not the right way to do it, but we're gonna try and make it work. approximately five minutes depending on how bad the scale is but a lot of it will do is it'll take the rust off of the material that has been rusted sitting outside this is just another method to do instead of blasting it definitely brightened it up which is interesting all right, since we don't have that set up with the pressure washer, we're just gonna do a water rinse. Normally you don't have to do that if you're set up with a pressure washer to pull your cleaner out, but we're just gonna go ahead and rinse it and then we'll apply the cleaner and then the phosphate. He's gonna learn to wear uh, waterproof shoes soon. All right, so that pressure pump wasn't really working that well. So we did go ahead and put their injecting tube into the cleaner and we're just gonna use a pressure washer to get them cleaned off. And then we'll go into the phosphate. So we'll rinse that line back out, drop it back into our phosphate and then phosphate the parts, rinse them and dry them. Mill scale rust. All right, so we just switched back over to phosphate. We're gonna be phosphating them now. I did notice it removed the ink off of that one bar there. We just showed you where some of the rust is coming out. So right now he's just clearing the line out because it's got cleaner in it still. And it should be sucking up the phosphate, injecting it right there and then coming out the hose here shortly. All right, so they are fully phosphated. Now we're just gonna rinse all that off and probably blow them down a little bit, get them a little bit drier and see what they look like. All right guys, so we cut that off at the very end when we were blowing the parts dry. So what we have noticed, we've used this for about a week now, is it does a really good job of removing rust. It removes mill scale a little bit. It's not super great at that, but it does remove it a little bit, especially the loose stuff that we were sanding off by hand anyways. We also notice it gives it a good etch and we're getting really good in the video. If you saw that, it turned kind of gold. That's actually part of the phosphating process. So that's not not a bad thing that's not rust it's a good thing so we are dialing it in we're getting a little bit better we had some equipment issues as far as our pressure washer not working we don't have heat right now we're working on getting to the other building so hopefully when we get over there we'll have a little bit better setup so that we can really put this to the test but so far it has saved us probably about 30 minutes a cart in prep work minimum so i'm guessing we've probably already saved 10 to 15 hours worth of prep work so we just bought 15 gallon buckets from it if you guys want any information on where you can pick up this chemical and try it out for yourself look down in the notes below and lincoln chemical will be happy to help you out they did not sponsor the video but they are one of my good trusted vendors and we really enjoy working with them so until next time get out and coat something